Hey, what's happening, guys? Sorry for the lack of videos this weekend. Uh, those of you who follow my Patreon and know what's going on, uh, we're nearing the end. So I need to take some time to be there. All right, that being said, let's take a look at today's offering. USB oscilloscope, except it's not... This is the LHT00SU1 logic analyzer. I mean, yeah, it's got two analog channels. Yeah, you could use it for an oscilloscope. Don't. There are a lot better options. This was provided to us free of charge by our friends at Banggood. So a big thanks to our friends at Banggood for uh, providing this for us to take a look at. Okay, this is a logic analyzer. Not to be confused with an oscilloscope. This shows us logic levels high and low, 1 and 0, 5 volts, 0 volts, yes, no, on, off. That's all we want it for. We don't, we're going to ignore the analog channels. Now, this bad boy is about 30 bucks, And you're getting about, well, somewhere close to that in value. So we've got this unit here. Uh, it does come with a nice USB cord. It's got a ferrite on there for RFI suppression. What I do not like, first of all, is that you get DuPont cables for your connections. And then they want you to take the standard DuPont cable and slide it into these little micro grabbers. Okay? If you don't hold it right and you try and do it like this, you end up shoving the entire micro grabber out of its holder this is utter garbage but since this is about as cheap as you can get i guess you have to make do with it so hold them here and then push and they do click in pretty nicely now the other thing i don't like about this being dupont cables is you gotta futz around and figure out what the hell plug you want to plug it into it would be nice if this was a one-piece connector. Are you listening, Banggood? One-piece connector, click. That way you know every time that red is digital four. So our connections here, let's, oops, sorry, bumped the camera. Let's take a look at this. We have analog one, analog two, digitals one through eight, which are actually digital zero through seven. An assortment of grounds, a clock, 5 volts, 3.3, .3, a ground, and a trigger. And, of course, there is no manual included, but you really don't need it. Um, on the webpage, they give you a link to some software called the USB Suite. We're going to set that up. And I'm going to show you a simple protocol read and decode. It, it, it works very nicely. I'm, I'm, I'm not knocking this thing other than the... Uh, the cheap construction quality, the functionality is there. So it's got a USB-A type. Plug it in. And we're going to do an I squared C read, which means we need two connections. I have had a heck of a time trying to figure out which pins correspond to what. And uh, they don't really seem to correspond to anything as to the program. So I just plug these two in here and then use one of the random ground spots. All right, so here is our victim, an Uno with an I2C OLED, and it's just simply running the um, Adafruit graphics demo. Now, just like anything else in the electronics world, we need a common ground. So I'm going to take our ground lead and clip it there. I have orange is going to go to our clock pin, analog 5. And red is going to go to our data pin. And also a piece of my finger, apparently. So that's all hooked up. All we're going to do, to do now is power up the logic, or power up our Arduino. Hello, Arduino. Why are you not powering up? You were you were fine and happy a, a minute ago. 
Do you not like it when I try and power you up with this stuff hooked to you? Is that it? Are you cranky and whiny? Is that your problem? Or are you not getting enough voltage from that? There we go. I guess you're just cranky and whiny. Okay, let's jump over to the computer and we'll hook everything up and we'll take a look. Alright, I've got everything hooked up here, so let's launch USB, that's B-E-E, -E, like Bumble, B, sweet. And this is the software for the logic analyzer. It takes a couple seconds to come up. Okay, so once we're taking a look at this here, you're going to see basically three sections here. Okay, this section over here is just telling you what the pins are. This section here in the middle is our logic display and this section over here on the right is our decode section now what we got going on here is this guy here is going to come over and block here and then this guy boom no i'm sorry just kidding football season's over what we're going to do here is we're going to do an i squared c and what we need to tell it is which pin is which. So our clock is on pin 2. Our data is on pin 3. We do a little clicky clicky there. And hit capture once. And look at that. Trying to zoom in here. Okay, there we go. So if we zoom up here now, on the top here, this top screen right here, this is our decoded I squared C bus. And as we uh, zoom in, come on, zoom in. Are you going to zoom in for me? There we go. We can actually see the hexadecimal bytes here, which is pretty cool. And if we go over here, we can also see them. E0, acknowledge, C0, acknowledge, C0, acknowledge, uh, C0, acknowledge. Then we got a P stop, an S start, 78 right. So that's pretty simple. And let me tell you something. If you don't have a high-end oscilloscope that does uh, serial protocol decoding and you need to see it, this will get you in there for 30 bucks. Is it the greatest thing in the world? No, it's just about the cheapest thing in the world. But it gets the job done. Sometimes you don't need a Mercedes. Sometimes a Yugo will do. If that's the case, 30 bucks, bang, goods, got your number. Do I want to change the color scheme? No. I don't even know where that crazy message came from. Next thing I know, Alexa will be telling me, I don't understand. She likes to do that in the middle of the night. Anyway, let's get out of here. So as you guys can see, the functionality is there. This thing, it works. There's no problems with it. It is incredibly cheaply made. I don't want to tear this apart because I do want to keep it. And it's probably glued together. The, uh, the connector is not in there square. You guys can probably see that. See how that side is sitting proud. That side is not. Just this is absolute lowest end construction I've received of anything. But really, what, what do you need? There's a PCB board in there. Um, you have inputs on this side. You have an output on that side. So they, they cheaped out on the case. What do you expect? Anyway, this thing's like 30 bucks. It works perfectly fine. If you need a logic analyzer, boom. Now you got a logic analyzer. It's available from Banggood. It's available from every other site in China as well. It also goes under the name Sale, S-A-L-A-E-E. -E. Just Google USB logic analyzer and you'll find a hundred of these, all that look exactly like this, but with a different name. But in this case, we're talking about the one from Banggood, so there's a link down here for it. That is a tracking link. If you go there, it shows the folks at Banggood that people actually view my videos and uh, they'll keep sending us free stuff to play with. So, 
that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to all of you for your thoughts and wishes. That's it. I'm out. Peace.